Oh yeah, easily. Okay. You, you would have beaten it with a one, so. And you need to make a touch attack on him. Yeah, just to make sure this is a ranged touch that I'm looking at. It is. It's a ray, actually. Yeah, the macro that I've got, though. Yep. Thirty-seven touch. That will hit. Okay, so he's a twenty-three fortitude save. Nope, that's only objects, I think. Oh, um, you're right. I haven't got that far. I make the successful range touch attack. Takes two to six points of damage per caster level. Oh, it does say creature is only partially affected. Okay. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Otherwise, this integrator would be ridiculous. Yeah, because that actually oh, saved. Oh, he's going to get fucking wrecked by a transmutation spell. Son of a bitch. One that okay. he actually has. So, two, well, he already cast his, right? Sure. Maximum. Okay, so 32d6. You son of a bitch. <laughs> get him, Jen. That sounds like GM rolling of damage, right? Oh, I yeah. was doing Emerald Spire, and I was hoping I get to roll the 50 60 6 damage on that level. Nothing like 11 level characters eating 50 60 6. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, he's still alive. Plus my sneak attack for another 34. You son of a bitch. <laughs> still alive. Um, oh, I didn't catch a shield thing, right? You like burn off all his clothes. He's just got his robe on, and he's like, "I'll be back, Drin." Um. So he didn't have a shield spell up, did he? He did have a shield spell up. He did. Yeah, I listed it. Okay, I missed it. Um, hold on though. I might not be done. He's got 145 hit points. Jesus. Uh, he's got a lot more than that. The wizard. What's the wizard doing? That many hit points. This is Paizo, so all their character, boss characters, all have a lot of con. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, He's a wizard um, with 20 con scores, so... He also works for a guy who has wishes coming out the, coming out the ass, so... Actually, so, he didn't cast any wishes on this guy. No inherent bonuses. Um... Oh, he's so, a Lanny, so he gets plus two to everything as well. Sorry, Drake, so, go ahead. Yeah, so, uh... Is it three or four? Yeah, so three blinding, bursting rays of light uh, launch from Drin's hand, and I'm going to make my spell resistance check as I uh, invoke my medic magic rod of quickening. 25 against the spell resistance. Sure, that'll happen. Um, Are you using Scorching Ray of some kind? I'm using Scorching Ray. And I didn't ask, uh, are you maintaining your greater invisibility this whole time? Um, I don't know whether you were just stealth uh, at the beginning of the round or something. Or... Wait a second, did I lose track? Um, I went in, I... You're right, I didn't get my sneak attack. That's okay. I pulled that out out of habit. That's fine. I'll just give him 34 back. Uh, let's yep. see. His touch is 18, so I think everything's going to hit, right? Um, what's that there? 19, 14. 24, 22, and 37. So, yeah, everything would hit. Wow. Still alive. Barely. Uh, oh, you've got stealth, though. Well, you've got stealth, automatic stealth, right? Uh, no, I don't. I don't currently have stealth, and I used a swift action to cast a second spell, so I'm out. Uh, yeah, no, I was I was playing really sloppy. I'm sorry, guys. It's quite all right. Quite all right. Um, see if I can get a little something going here. That would be awesome. <laughs> what is his touch attack before I do something super fucking dumb? His touch is eight. That seems like a foolish move. Okay, he is going to disintegrate Drin right back. He is pulling the, uh, if someone tries to kill you, you try to kill him right back. Maneuver. So he has a plus 13, 28 to touch Drin. I think that's going to miss, but... Really? I a think touch? so. He's dex-based, don't forget. Uh... Wait, 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 wait. 
Your dex adds to it. Your deflection from rings add to it. Protection from evils add to it. No, uh, deflection and protection from evil don't stack. Yeah, Simple size yeah. deflection. Size modifier adds. So my base is twenty five for touch. Oh, fuck. Really? Yeah. You have a plus fifteen dex. I've got a plus nine dex. I've got a size modifier. I've got a deflection bonus. I've got a luck bonus. What did he roll a 28? Do I have three hidden away somewhere from something else? Protection doesn't matter. No, I think that's actually going to hit. All right. You get to make a fourth save. The thing you've forgotten is he's a transmuter. So he gets double of one spell at every spell level. And that spell is disintegrate. Okay. You son of a bitch. Not only did you roll well on that, you roll well on every single fucking save. Very well, he fires this enormous beam at you. And you're like, no! And then you're like, what? As it only deals 16 damage. The Battle of the Green Beams! <laughs> 16 damage, so it does 2 damage to me as he takes up my false life. There's a crazy light show going on in that other room right now. Yeah. Okay. Alright, Xavier. You are alive? I am, in fact, alive. Um, you dropped your weapons, right? Because you went unconscious. They are on weapon cords. Oh, okay, so you can just whip them back as move actions or something. Um, I... I assume because I have two weapon fighting, I can whip I'll them both that. back as I'll one move action. Double whip. Whoops. You're that enough of said, a badass. I'm not sure I'm going to do that. Uh, I am prone still, right? Let's think about this. He healed you. Yes, you have not, you have not acted since I healed you. So yes, you're still prone. Yep. Still prone. Okay. As a swift action... I cast Grace. I stand up. I wish I could take AOs, but I'm guessing Grace is a spell that doesn't let me do that. You are correct, sir. Um, Don't forget he's standing upside down now, right? Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. Uh, you know how it is when you're on the ceiling. Well, at least they didn't have some kind of reality warping to raise the roof. Oh, God. <laughs> if I could get off a quick and glitter dust on Drin, that would be fantastic. Just keep him from going invisible the rest of the day. I'm sorry, Speaks, but I'm so damaged, I'm going to have to back off. That's fine. That's not that far away. That guy can five footstep and still full attack you. Yeah, but the second one can't. All right, all right. I mean, I only have 30 move. I don't know all where right, else it's safe that. to go. I realize you're not super hyped up on move like the entire rest of the party. And I appreciate uh, that you don't turn into a magical flying angel every time you get really angry. <laughs> uh, don't hate. Don't hate. I could go on a tangent about Angel Summoner and BMX Bandit, but I don't think we have the time. So, anything else from you? Any other swifts? Or... Well, if I could do multiple swifts, I'd be amazing. You would be fantastic, wouldn't it? That's what contingent's for. Contingent scroll, contingent action. Isn't that an arcane spell? Perhaps, but you can put it on a scroll. Or have one of your bros cast it on you. I guess, yeah, that would be kind of hard to use. Um, okay. Uh, done. All right, Olaf, you're being challenged by Chellin, Sword of Reed. Right. Her eyes are closed. Back to me. <clears throat> Her eyes are closed. Unfortunately, I don't think that helps me very much, does it? In so. theory, she's blind. Yeah. No, nope, there's suspect... no in theory about it. She's actually blind. Well, okay, I suspect she has some means of getting around that. But... Nope, definitely blind. Uh... So no dex bonus, and you're plus two to hit. Yeah, okay, well, I guess I'll take cool. it. It's cool. I'll take it. All right, so uh, I hasted full round. 
Oh, he stood full round raging brutality. There it is. Oh, those are so scary expensive for me. All right, so 19, that'll be a crit. 24 misses. Everything else should hit. All right, sweet. Crit auto confirms. Yep. Go ahead so, and how many is it? Four? Uh, five damages, right? Oh, oops, I still got a miss chance in there, but you can ignore um, those. Where's the miss chances? Oh, your miss chances at the end? No, they're all mixed in because... It... I added the stupid macro to it. All right. Wow, Wish I would. Did you roll a 12 and a 4? <laughs> Damn. That's off. That's bad. Okay, miss. So let's go through this one by one. So uh, 52 is the first damage with a miss chance of a 62. Do you Wait, you keep rolling two D100s. Do you have... Um, Was I supposed to roll two D100s or something else? No, it's else? just one D100, unless you have... No. Uh, I, I don't think I have anything. Okay. No, I, do, I don't. Uh, so, so let me, let me just re-roll those, or take the first one out no, of each bunch. No, take the first one out of each. That's right, pretty that's reasonable. fine. Uh, first attack will hit. You need to 38, 20. right? You're missing that one, and you're missing that one. So the first one is a crit that confirmed. So do you want to just take that second damage for it? Um, because the first was a fifty-five, was a nineteen. <clears throat> so uh, it would, so it would be the, the fifty-two and the fifty-seven. Hits. It's the last two that miss. So I'll take the sixty-one as your crit damage. So you do fifty-two, fifty-seven, sixty-one, which will kill there. Okay, yeah, that's what I was saying. This. And then you see the sword go flying slowly through the air, and you hear a voice in your mind that's like. <laughs> you can grab this sword as a free action if you'd like to. Uh, <laughs> fuck no. Okay, all right. I can't force you to do anything. Now, I guess you'll be chilling underground for oh, a while. Fuck. Boom. I told you to prepare those, right? I was like, prepare some puns. Now you've got it. Oh, he can speak telepathically, so Chalin's like, fuck you. <laughs> <Not very cool, laughs> <man. coughs> Alright, that's all I got. So he's just constantly in Olaf's head, like, pick me up, pick me up, pick me, pick me, pick me up. Alright, speaks with. Okay. Uh, I never rolled the d4 for the number of rounds for my dragon breath thing. So I'm going to roll that now. Okay. And breathe if I want to. Okay, so. Uh, and I have to decide as a free action at the beginning or end of my turn, right. Um, okay, I am turning into a huge dragon, please. Okay. I think you're squeezing a little bit, but sure. Uh, so... Let's start by breathing on these fuckers. Um, in what way will you be doing that? Cone. Uh, I don't know if you can get a cone that will hit both of them without hitting either Olaf or yourself. Oh, don't forget, don't forget we're 40 feet up in the air. Uh, okay, so I don't know if you can get a cone that will hit both of them without hitting Remember, he's got, he's got 20 feet reach. Is there anything that says he couldn't no, reach over you here? No, you have to go Breath weapons like, from you. Yes, that I, will work. So I kind of go there and just start breathing forward? Yep, that'll work. Okay. You have to emanate breath weapons from your own square. There you go. Gotcha. You can actually hit yourself with your own breath weapon, which for dragons is normally fine because they're immune to their own shit. Which I am However, too. That would be a bad idea. No, form of the dragon, I'm immune. Really? Uh, what Sorry, I uh, this level... Uh... Uh, sorry. Immunity to one element of the same type. Yes. I'm immune to my breath weapon. Okay, what is the DC on your breath weapon? 29. Uh, well, the one guy makes it, the other does not. Okay. Uh, it's either, either dead? 
Okay, then as a swift action, I'm using my um, spell that only requires verbal and somatic components, so I can do it in dragon form. Cold Ice Strike. DC 26 reflex save, please. Yeah, the second one of those? Cold Ice Strike I've never done, have I? Yeah, you did it earlier. I did? Yep. Shit. You did it last time. Shit. You used it to hit someone through one of your own party members, actually. Oops. Sorry. I Bad, bad note-taking. My apologies. Uh, and I'm in dragon form, so I just fucked up royally by doing that. Okay. Uh, oops. Because I have nothing else that's swift. Yeah, I think that... you hit savior in the process, right? Oh, uh, one second. Had, uh, no, he had okay. Resistance to cold up, so. Okay, no, so fair enough. I just, I, I'm bad note keeping. Uh, no, I still have that, so I'm going to, uh,. Pick up a piercing, toppling, spiritual ally as a swift action. You're spell perfecting it as a quickened somehow? Yes. Yep. Okay. I'm guessing you probably don't have many slots left to do that with. Now I'm going to have to go down to fourth level spells soon. All right. You should be controllable by you. Can I, can I tell which of these two is most wounded? The uh, one closer to Xavier. Okay. So I'm going to have this guy pop up here. And he is going to uh, attack the son of a bitch. Uh, he can't be tripped. So he has freedom of movement or whatever. Is that not tripping or just grappling? Sorry? It's, top. it's, it's just tripping. Trip. No, it's just grappling. And I did the terrain. All right, you murdered the shit out of him. Good. I like that in a bad guy. Okay. I'm done. And this time I'm going to roll the d4 now. So I remember. Okay. So does that mean I can roll, I can do next round, or I have to wait one round and do the round after? You get it next round. So it resets okay. when your next round rolls around. Huh. Apparently there's this new spell called Borrow Time that allows you to get extra swift actions. I'm cool. guessing, almost certain, given that it sounds broken as a motherfucker, that it's from the ACG. No, they had some more books after since then. It might be some broken for something else. Yeah, sure. Maybe it's from Advanced Class Origins. Yeah. Curse you, Advanced Classes. All right. I know it doesn't look like it, but because he was under challenge command, this guy is actually... Next, that's a giant that's on the ceiling. It's, it's apparently nice. from um, uh, Mythic Origins. Oh well. So I suspect it's not PFS legal. Yeah, it's a Mythic spell, and we're not playing with Mythic rules, so that would be a problem. That is a fucking baller ass spell, though. You could be a paladin and stack all sorts of smite evil and uh, righteousness at the same time. It'd be fantastic. Yeah, link and stuff in the chat's fine for spells. Um, damn it. No matter how much I talk, I still come to the same conclusion. I'm going to have to run the gauntlet to murder Xavier. I don't think this guy has a choice either, because he's dominated. So he's just going to go ahead and do it. Um, is he wearing armor? Yes. What kind of armor is it? It's actually not listed. Has he, has he ever stood up? Is he still prone? No, he stood up. They all yeah. stood up earlier. Um, you know, what kind of armor they have? Well, he's going to go ahead and try to acrobatics around these with the team to avoid you and your dude. 18. Nope, I don't think that's going to do any of that. 30. Oh, what's he got? 50? I guess he can get way wedged in there. You guys are both going to get AOs, I think, as he moves in. Okay, so... He's on the ceiling still, right? Yep. That's right, Olaf. Olaf's just, just looking around at all the shenanigans going on above him, going, when will I get to go up there? Uh, you got... Minus 16, and... Oh, okay, cool! Does he get tripped? He's got a 42. No. Uh, uh, your bite will not confirm. 
twelve. And he's gonna walk right up to Xavier and stab him in the face with his great sword. Oh, I don't think any power attacks necessary here. We're just gonna go with improved vital strike. That sounds fantastic. Attack action, make one attack at bonus, roll the dice three times. Wow. He's gonna kill me. There's no question. That's assuming he hits. So. Yeah. He gets three rolls? He gets three weapon damage dice. Rolls. It's just damage oh. dice, not attack dice. Plus 20. And just attack, Seven. just the dice, not the, um, yeah, not he's, the hit, though. He's not charging, though. He's just moving and attacking. Um, so, Paul, I'm going to put this in from the chat for you to hear. It says man with beard, and even though all of us have beards, <laughs> it has always, when people call you the man with the beard, it's always Paul, so... <laughs> Uh, he wants to take you away and cover your body with butter. That reasonable. is uh, disturbing well, on so many levels. Uh, so now we know why there's an adult tag on the channel. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, roll a whip and dice three times, so 12d6 plus 21 damage here. 60 damage on Xavier. I think that's going to put you in the dead zone. Far. Into the dead zone. Uh, prevent you from probably, being probably, Do not, do not tell me how far down. Well, actually, it doesn't matter. I will be trying great. I'll be trying uh, breath of life on you. Never. Anyway, never mind. Yeah, you could. It's within range. You could breath of life him. Yeah. Next round. Well, sorry. Unless he's so obviously out of range that breath of life has no chance, I would definitely do it next round. All right, Drin, you terrifying smug son of a bitch. Why don't you fucking kill my caster before you can cast any of his good stuff? <laughs> Disintegrate him right in the nuts again. <laughs> uh, he's looking like he's in pretty bad shape, right? He's nearly dead. Okay. At this point, I was better basically banking like, on the disintegrating you with kill arrows. you, and then I was going to run away if it didn't work. So he's ready to get out of here. Okay, well, so I've got two shots on this, so I'm going to try... Invisible. Go invisible! I'm going to try the, the light touch first. So, um... So I'm going to move over here, and I'm stealthing along the way. Wow, oh, that's only a 37 stealth. Um, you're still showing up. He knows where you're at, but can he make that perception check? His perception is plus 18, so it's impossible. Okay. Um, so I'm going to sneak around him here, and I'm going to stab him in the back. Um, or attempt to do so anyway. 31 to hit flat-footed. For 31 points of damage, minus his stuff. Um, let's see here. Yeah, you're sneaky big. He's dead, Jim. Damn, did he not put up a good fight, though? Flaming T-Rex. Am I right? Am I right, audience? Woo! Uh, Four more years. <laughs> oh, poor flaming T Rex. He had a rough time of it, didn't he? He was doing great. I think he tried to eat David, and then David fucking slipped out of his grasp for the freedom of movement. He's moving yeah. in for the kill, and then he got dazed by some ball lightning shit. All right, you shoot that whoop, Drin. Anything else you'd like to do before you go get your gated raid advertisement? For being no, I was I was ready with a swift action spell just in case he didn't fall, but I'm good now. Yeah, this is and, didn't work. You prismatic spray him again, right? Well, I was ready with a swift action spell and my you know arcane trickster ability that I forgot last round, which lets me do a sneak attack anytime I want. Oh, of course. Which would have ended it last round, but yeah. Anyway, so that is um. You only get that a certain amount of times a day, right? I get it three times a day. All right, just make sure to track that. Not that it'll be important. But maybe. Yeah, I never remember to use it, it seems. But. <laughs> All right, Xavier, you're dead. Olaf. You see Xavier just start bleeding out. His brains are, like, floating out of his head and then hitting the ceiling. Kill the giants up here, fast, please! All right. Yeah. So, how far exactly is he away from me? It's a forty-foot 40 ceiling, but but how tall is he? Uh, fifteen feet. 
15 feet. And how tall are you? Yeah, and how tall am I? 10 feet? Yep. With how much reach? Well, I can go up to 15. At 15, you can get there within 30, so I would think, yeah. Well, I can but fly, can but it's fly. a it's a it's a full movie. You can, you can reach way. it from the floor if you're if you're ten feet tall and you can reach fifteen feet above you. Right, that's twenty five feet out of forty. But he's ten feet tall too, standing up, or he's fifteen feet tall, standing up. Right. So then I I could. That's what I was going to ask. I could take a five foot step and then hit him. You don't uh, even have no, to off the ground. He, you'd have to be directly underneath him. Oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah, I am. We're over. gonna have to uh, fly charge at him if you want to do this or something like that. Yeah, yeah. So I'll I'll move and attack. Are you flying up to him or are you just walking? Yeah. Up him? Okay. Yeah, right. I'm flying up under him, and I'll attack him from ten feet away. Nothing happens on the way up. Uh, he'll get an AO on you, but other than that. God, these fucking numbers are five. Does a 40 hit? Just a second. Someone's asking about PFS in the chat. I feel it's really important to direct them to PFS as quickly as possible so we can get you, them hooked on that shit. You do your thing. Pedal that crack. I know. Because once we get them hooked on PFS, I figure that he can probably run a game for me. <laughs> I know it's hard. I always assume that everyone I meet, I can get them on that PFS crack so they run a game for me. But then I realize I run four or five games a week. So why play? Um, he is going to get a hit on you. He did not use power attack. He was vital striking. So he gets a plus 27. He's, I've got images, too. Don't forget. Oh, right. <clears throat> so the 45 would hit, for sure. So we got six. D6. Fuck. That was a crit, yep. too. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Well, yep. you, it, it. you smack into him. A 40 will hit. All right. So 40 will hit. Let me get my damage here. Uh, Come at me, bro. And by that, I literally mean hat. Put a hat on him. All right. Put a hat on it. <clears throat> if you liked 42. it, you should have put a hat on it. Uh, <laughs> you knock him unconscious. And... Hooray! All right, so I only have five inches. That's everyone. No. Okay, so... 42 points back. I Actually, left. he was already dead. His turn came up before yours. Uh, no. My, I have an entire, there's an entire round for me to do it. Yeah. His, I did, yeah. I did not, I'm not active since he went down. Yeah, this week's his, turn came his turn came up. I have not acted since he went down the entire round to the life. It's talking about Xavier? I mean, that's how I rule it, but... It's... it's No, it's how it, it's how it is, right? Died You've got... Uh, right, I'll accept that. Is that enough to let you get back up? Yes. To, not okay. conscious, but not dead. Yep, that'll work. It, it is explicitly died within one round, not a turn, a round. You always get one shot. I'll accept that. What form are you in when you're breathing life back into him? Uh, I would actually turn into a. Um, I would actually turn into a troll, so I can start regenerating. So uh, trolls giving him kissy face. Trolls giving him kissy face. <laughs> I just want to make sure I'm soaking it all in here. <laughs> So now it's a little early to call it, but I think we should start wrapping up the session here now that we're getting everybody alive. Uh, Dren has been the only player to successfully make it through the doors so far. <laughs> yep. I think it's time to start discussing what your plan is as you move forward. So because we're terrible at doing that in email, let's do it now. Okay, uh, so... A little time left. If someone will get me conscious, I will channel. Uh... Sure, I will at least use it a couple times. <laughs> One of the Sorry, I just, I just... To Gras Xavier so that you can get the EXP for killing him. So, uh, the check reverse out. gravity, did that go away, or is it still... F uh, no, nope, it's going to stick around for a bunch more rounds. Uh, yeah, it's going to stick around for 
ten more rounds, so you're going to have to fly Xavier outside the area. Yeah, is it only in this round room, or is it, like, all over the it's place? It's only in the round room. Yeah, so I suggest we just move Xavier out here. So, Xavier, I, tr I toss a Cure Critical on you, which is a pretty shitty roll, but there you are. Uh, two yeah. more, actually. Sorry, I, I didn't update the macro, so 30 points. There we go. We're going to move back to the talkie screen. Everyone likes to see our faces in big. I would assume it wouldn't take me more than a round to drag Xavier out with the healing. Because I have to rage to do that. Sounds good to me. I'm not tracking rounds at this point, unless you guys are. Well, I have to rage to fly is the only reason I say that. Okay. Okay. Uh, several people seem injured, so I will do a channel. All right. Not great. I was only down two. Thank you very much. Um, down 20. Who's afraid of a disintegrate? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am! Yeah, right? Uh, yeah. Alright, so... So one thing I do want to do, and I'm not being silly here, take the body of that of both the mage and that woman in plate mail, stuff the bodies into a bag of hoarding. Uh, so the mage is basically gone, right? Oh, right, he's disintegrated, but his stuff was left behind. That's right. No, he didn't. He, he was didn't still... disintegrate. You just stabbed him to death. But why is I he just... gone? Why is he you're gone? Right, you're right. I thought he got burned to death by scorching rays. No, I uh, stabbed I'll him. I'll accept that his body's still there. So, yeah, it, it just, it's just if his body's not there, it takes two wishes to bring him back, not one. Um, anything of interest on him before we, he disappears into the bag of holding? Anything Drin could use? Because I'm getting a little depleted. Sure. Now that you mention it. He has the following things. Because I think I can sneak attack off wands and stuff now, too. Um, if need be. You could probably do that while you're invisible. Or something. Yeah, I don't see any reason why you wouldn't be able to sneak attack off a wand, right? It's just a weapon. As long as it's got an attack roll. And I don't even need an attack roll anymore. I just need to do damage off a spell. So let's see. This contingency statue is gone. Spell books. Not, his spell books in his room, so you don't have that. And he never got to use the temporal stasis on Drin, which would have been hilarious. Uh, he didn't get to use it on Olaf, because he didn't want to enter Olaf's melee range, and that also would have been funny. So does anybody want those rows of the Archmage? They're evil, so probably any of you using them would be a very bad idea. Yep. Uh, what the hell is a staff of size alteration? Sounds cool. Something your party probably doesn't need, given that you're all fucking <laughs> 9 million sizes and change them at will. Um, God shape changes are cool. I mean,. If you, were, if I was actually a druid who was built properly for shape, shape change, God, it's an insane, obscene spell. Yeah, it was, isn't the? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was going to ask, what's the? What is a golden ivory contingency statue? Sorry, statue. Used. Okay. So okay. anyway, so nothing useful, but potentially things we can sell. Sure. You could always Not pick up Shellen. Take her for a spin, or him well, for. I a spin. definitely want to definitely take her. With us as well. You're, so you're, you're picking up her corpse, right? But not the sword yet. You're not going to pick up the sword? Uh, does anybody have something simple like Mage Hand? Can't work, it's a magical Mage item. Hand doesn't work on magical items. Can I... I suspect I can't, but I'm going to ask. Can I command the spiritual ally to grab the sword and put it into a bag of holding? I don't think so. It's only purposes to attack, right? Like, that's all it Correct. does. Are we we're fearful that easy. that it's it's an intelligent magic item that's or cursed or something? It's an artifact. Uh, so she doesn't have uh, the potion of haste. Um, and yep, she's got all the other stuff, including the iron stone. Um, does anybody mind? Assuming uh, I don't think I have. Does anyone mind if I take that belt? So, Olaf, the whole time that this is happening, in your head, you're hearing, like, Jitterbug. <laughs> Jitterbug. And the sword's like, pick me up before you go-go. 
awesome. Um, the belt well, would want... kind of help me as we've established my hit points suck, but no, I guess I'd have to wear it 24 hours before it would kick in, right? Indeed. Uh, fair enough. Do you have a fight? No, you bet. You you need strength more than I do. Do you have, do you currently have a belt or anything of strength? Um. Oh wait, no, I don't need strength more than you do, and I forgot I'm already wearing a belt. Better than that. Uh, plus six dex. Yeah, that's what Drin has too. So I I don't. I don't think there's anything that Drin would use that, that the caster had. See, right now I'm in the weird position that when I turn into a dragon, strength is useful both for carrying capacity, which might come up important sometime soon, and uh, damage. Take it. I wouldn't mind the, um, the Iron Stone, though. Uh, but what's your belt of dex? It's probably so. In case you care, you probably don't. You're probably better off. I will be getting. I have a belt of physical might plus two dex and con. No, um, I have slashing grace. My my dex determines my damage as well as my to hit and my AC. So fair enough. Just offer. Does anyone else want a, be a belt of uh, physical might plus two dex or con? I suspect you'll have better belts than that already. We have more specific nope. belts than that already. Take it. That's why I assume. Okay. Yep. The Ring of Freedom of Movement would be the only thing of interest to me, and um, since we all have to wear Sahedron rings, I don't have a slot for it, so it doesn't matter. I should grab the Scarab of Protection, just because. Yeah, no, we might as well take it. I don't think anybody's going to use it. If we're all... I'm assuming you can't use that. That takes the next slot, right? I have no idea what slot it takes, but probably, yeah. What does take a next slot? What are we asking about? Scarab of Protection. Yeah. Although he had well, an amulet of natural armor also. I will look it up right now. Scarab of Protection. Yeah, it's Nick. I just pulled it up. Oh, they were cheating. No, he doesn't have a... No, she doesn't have a... She doesn't have an amulet of natural armor, does she? Unless he did, he list stuff for two different creatures. Yeah, or I these did. All the, yeah. Okay, then that's the one is for though. the woman uh, who was holding Chellen, and the other is for. The Got women. it. Okay, I missed that piece. All right, oh. so it doesn't look like anybody's adding this to our loot sheet. Um, should I grab those and do that then? Sure. Or does it even does it even matter, Arthur? Oh yeah, you're right. Matter. This is an end game, right? So our, we're probably not buying things afterwards. Well. Who knows when you might want some of these items? All right, so I should add the question. Them to my everyone list. wants to know is what you're doing with that sword, yo. <clears throat> True story. Yeah, Does boots of teleportation sound pretty good. I don't think I have any boots. <laughs> yeah, boots of teleportation are fucking great, man. Except here. I mean, yeah, not except here. here. But, oh wait, I've got boots of speed. Yeah, that's what I'm wearing too. All right. I don't actually think I have any boots. I'm not sure. <laughs> but it really matters because I can teleport any. Okay, I don't actually have any boots. Well, these boots are made to do as little walking as possible. So. <laughs> Sorry, walking. I do Go not. To the bathroom, not, I, teleport, I, teleport back. Maybe teleport yourself to the fridge. That's your whole day. I do not understand what this word walk means. <laughs> So the sword's just kind of sitting there like, pick me up, Ola. No, I don't want to. So I'm made of pure, magically hardened gold. Imagine how much you could sell me for. So does anybody have a means relatively cheap that they're willing to spend, like an acid? Are, are rune giants resistant to acid? I don't think so. I think it's fire, electricity, cold. Are you willing to spend an, uh, an acid pit? Um, I don't have one prepared. I'd have to use my arcane bond. Does anybody have any, any easy way, means of the, um, the true rune giants? You could just toss them out the window outside. Let them plummet 1,500 feet. But Karzak will be able to just pick... Cause I, that will still be one wish away from bringing him back, right? I'm trying to make it two wishes, not one wish. 
Their bodies I've are got, falling. I've got a vial feet. of acid, and I've got an acid arrow prepared. If Karzog was going to be casting wishes to bring people back, I'm pretty sure he would have done it mid-battle. I mean, you would have saw people just start waking up and being like, Hey, I'm back, baby. Right. I, I think uh, that's pretty strong observation at this point. Okay, so do we retreat at this point or continue on? <coughs> I mean, I'm all right. Well, you guys are but... doing great. Go ahead. Keep going. This made it through the front door. Yeah, so what does this hallway that we're in look like? Is it like just a stone hey, there hallway? there you go. A viewer has made a suggestion, Paul. Turn into a huge dragon and just eat their bodies. Oh, God. Or just uh, breathe acid on them. Or eat them. Yeah, okay. Can I... Eat what happens? Them? Yeah, sure. It's not like Chinese food. It doesn't... Okay, fine. <laughs> okay, so I'll turn into a huge dragon and eat them. That's just wrong. I'm not sure my character... No, it's these are... cannibalism if they're humanoid. Sorry? I said, is it cannibalism if they're humanoid? I guess they're not really the same race as you. I, I would not eat them. I would not do that. You're just going to breathe acid on them until their body dissolves? Yeah. It might be weird, but my character would do one and not the other. You spend a few minutes breathing acid on them. Maybe you get some of that bleach and ammonia out of the cleaning closet and go uh, Pulp Fiction on them. <laughs> Um, Dren's okay with moving on. I mean, my spells are getting sparse, but I still have, I mean, I've still got some useful stuff. Um, I've, I mean, got I've, a dis put... I've got a dispel left, I've got a haste, some lightning, a chain lightning, a ball lightning, I've got some black tentacles and an ice storm. I think I can make myself useful. So the question is, if we run into Kazog. Are we ready to face Kazark? Have we got enough? Have we have we left enough oomph to face Kazark? You know, one of the ways you could improve yourself to face Kazark would be to pick up that sword. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. He's bound oh, to just destroy it. it. I'm not Titan mauling here. Yeah, uh, Dren and Speaks aren't strong enough to pick it up. Xavier, I don't think, is strong enough to use it either. Ice. Uh, we can try sundering it. Nope. It can't be destroyed except by Karzog. It's an artifact. Okay. You could throw it into Mount Doom. It wouldn't work. It would yeah, but it would there. sink and be hard to get to. Sure, and then the mountain will explode, and one day some little boy finds the sword and gets possessed and turns into an evil warlord yep. named Chellin. Oh, come on. Artifacts are... That's uh, that go away for five to ten thousand years and surface just the dramatically appropriate time a few thousand years later. Come on, when would that have happened in real in real fiction? <laughs> That's the right. power was inside you all along. <laughs> oh God! The, the sword wasn't evil; it was just you. It was always <laughs> you. So, so it sounds like it sounds like we're moving on. I mean, Drin still okay. has an arrangement of spells. Olaf hasn't used up, you know, much of your abilities. Xavier yeah. and Speaks, are you okay on resources? Are you going to be able to do your stuff if we get if we get hit or we need? So I am all set point, to do what I do best: get killed. At <laughs> this point, if you guys have any minute of level spells, they're going to be falling off. What were our resist energies? Um. What did you lose, by the way, Drin? I don't think we ever talked about that. Let's check that. I, I posted them. Um, I lost heroism, freedom of movement, um, cold, and sonic resistance. Sonic resistance? Wow. You guys prepped that shit? You yep. You sons of bitches. I didn't uh, even know you could do that from resist energy. Resist energy, um, yeah. So resist the resist energy is 10 per. Yeah, so the resist energy were... were 170 minutes. Yeah, so we should be good on that. Um, I had a shield up that would have been for 32 minutes. I'm thinking that's probably still up. That'll still be up. Um, I ha Okay, I do have another resist energy left in case something got dispelled, so I will put, toss another... Do we care enough about Sonic? Yeah, sure. Resist energy Sonic on you now. No, oh, thank you. Um, I've got a protection from evil up. How long do those last? 
Uh, that's uh, 30, uh, 34 minutes. Because I extended it. This so that's good. really wants you to pick up the sword, Olaf. Really? Bark skin's good. How, oh, long so our, I... how long is our air bubble good for? I, I was saying that's a higher level spell than the resists. No, air bubble's first level. It's not air you bubble, life it's level. life bubble, level five. Oh, well that that's a problem then. I had written down air bubble. So then I would have lost the air bubble and I would have kept my cold. So I don't have life bubble then. That could be bad. Yeah, better keep that ring on. What ring? The Sahedron ring? Doesn't that protect us from like some sort of toxic it, badness going it does on? Those inter elements and the uh, the sweep, like the magical sweep, once a minute. Fortunately, the air in here is all supplied by the plane of air, so even without life bubble, he's still able to breathe. Oh, okay. Well, and I can life bubble myself too with my arcane bond if I need to. That sounds like something good to spend your arcane bond on. All right. Well, I got to dip out. I think we've reached a decision point, right? We're moving forward. We've got our loot. Everyone is happy with that. Yeah. All right. I will hang up the call and then do the spiel while you guys are gone. So have a good night, guys. All right. Later, guys. It was fun. All right, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, we have games uh, Monday night, although it seems like this is going to wrap up in the next two or th three weeks. Oh, excuse me. At 8 p.m. and then Saturday and Sunday also at 8 p.m. Looking at adding a Thursday game in February. Also 8 p.m. and a Tuesday game perhaps late February. Also 8 all those times are Eastern Standard. You can catch up on all of our play at youtube.com slash wvpolarbear. Uh, all of the links are, of course, on the screen right now or uh, down on the Twitch info. Thank you for joining me tonight. I will see you guys next week. Thank you.